examples. If we have x plus 2 raised to the 2 thirds power equals 9, the main important thing that I want you guys to understand is x to the 2 thirds is the same thing as the cube root of x squared. Do you guys remember us talking about that? Rational powers is the same thing as your roots. Yes? I, I, we already gone over this. We have already gone over through our notes on this. Okay, so I'll be more than happy to go over it, but I don't have time for now. I just want to remind you that that's how these were. If I can easily go through it with you at another time. Um, so what I wanted to do is I mention you guys. If we want to undo the cube root, then we'd have to raise it to the third power, right? Well, if you guys look at this, if I look at the square root, if I want to undo the square root, what exactly do I have to do? I have to. Square it, right? Now, what is the square root raised to a rational power? Does anybody know? Does anybody know what the square root of x is to the rational power? It's x to the 1 half power. x would just be x. So it's x to the 1 half power is the same thing as the square root of x. So if I was going to get rid of this by squaring it, then taking, squaring the square root is really the same thing as squaring x to the 1 half power. But what I want you guys to notice about this is we understand that, yeah, when I square the square root, that, un that undoes it, right? Well, notice when I square the 1 half power, that's going to undo that as well. But the relationship I want you to guys see is if you raise a power to its reciprocal, it's going to equal 1. So I just need to raise this to the reciprocal power. So what's the reciprocal of 2 thirds? 3 over 2. So anytime you raise a number to its reciprocal, goes to 1. So I'm just left with x plus 2 equals 9 to the 3 halves. Now it will be important to make sure you understand how do you rewrite a number from rational exponents to radicals. Well, I can do x plus 2 equals the square root of 9 cubed. And 9 cubed, 9 raised to the third power is 729 square root. Square root of 729. So it is x plus 2 equals the square root of 729. And the square root of 729 is 27. So I have x plus 2. Oh, please remember that's plus or minus. Plus or minus 27. Then I subtract 2. Subtract 2 x equals positive 27 minus 2, which is 25, and negative 27 minus 2, which is negative 29. The only other thing we have not done, which we ran out of time, which I'm not going to go over, is now you have to take those answers and plug them back in. And you guys can go ahead and figure that one out for number 19. Huh. Oh, yes. Do it. 